softball backs there are. Today I'm here to bring you a bat review of the 2020 Mike and Freak Primo Balanced. This is in the wrapper. We are going to unwrap it. Get some initial swings on the radar there, which is in the left hand side of the screen near the top there on the tripod. That's a sharp looking bat. That uh, great background. Ooh, that orange just really pops on there. Look at that. Let's see if you can see it there with the lighting. Ooh, that looks sharp. Now remember, if you got a mic in a worth that comes with these, uh, the barcode, you want to take that off, put that on your receipt in case you need a, a warranty return. We're going to be using the same ball the whole time, the worth hot dot psycho ball, S Y C O. Let's go for it. Let's, let's go. Primo balance, see what you got. 93 miles per now, hour. Now, for this first portion, we'll just go over the facts and do the opinions after after I get some more swings on it. 94 miles per hour. So this is ASA only, or what's now called USA uh, softball. 95 miles per hour. Four piece bat. I've said before, I don't know exactly all the four pieces. You got the barrel, you got the handle, I suppose this connection piece. I don't know where the other piece is, but it's four pieces, I guess. 93 miles per hour. Now this has a 14 inch barrel, same as last year. So there was a uh, Primo balance last year. I was not able to review it last year, but I did get to swing it. And I really liked it last year. 95 miles Just per hour. Just didn't have the time to actually do a review. But one of the, my favorite balance bats that I've swung. So I was excited to really get a hand, uh, hold the one. 94 miles per hour. Now let's see, it's said to have an inner core tube, assuming inside the barrel there. I don't know how all, the, all this stuff works. Just reporting the facts here. 89 miles per hour. It's got the characteristic bigger handle knob that the mic and bats tend to have. And then it comes in 26 ounce. 91 miles per hour. 27 ounce and the 28 ounce. Now there is a uh, Primo Supermax that also 92 miles per hour. A 30 ounce. No 29 ounce though. Uh, one other thing to note that I saw in the uh, Mike and Primos as well as the 82 miles per hour. Oh, guess I opened it quick. As well as the Worth Mach 1 Cobra Jet is this new grip. I don't know if the sliding will allow it to show there, but it's, uh, it's gray on the outside and then there's like these little uh, indentations with the, it's like black sticky tape in there for your grip, I suppose, on your batting glove. Now, if you're looking for one of these new in wrapper, I would estimate 225, 293 miles per hour. Early in the season here, so I'm not really seeing them out there much. If you're looking for one used, 86 miles per hour. I'm not sure if I've seen one or not, but I would guess around 190, 200. 92 miles yeah, per early hour. Early in the season. Let's do two more and give another bat. Oh, look. 93 miles per hour. Come on, Primo Balance. 92 miles per hour. Now, the Primo also comes in a max load as well. So it comes in the balanced max load, which is a half ounce end load, and then a super max, which is a one ounce end load. Be sure to be on the lookout for that uh, review. I got the super max. I don't have a max load. I'm going to be swinging here the Worth Mach 1 Cobra Jet. This has just over 500 swings on it. Be on the lookout for this review. 89 miles per hour. Very excited about this bat. 86 miles per hour. Definitely a little bit of a different sound there. 93 miles per hour. Now again, this has 500 plus swings on it. 
But I can tell the sweet spot is just like a little bit springier on this one. Let's. 89 miles let's get per one hour. Good here, Mach 1 Cobra Jet. Let's go. 92 miles per hour. All right. Looks like the balance got you so far. 92 miles per hour. Come on, two more Cobra Jet. Let's go. Is the balance going to beat you right off the bat? No pun intended. 94 miles per hour. Uh oh. One more. Ninety-two miles per hour. All right, let's do the balance. Two more swings. Yeah, definitely a different sound. Eighty-nine miles per that hour. Cobra jet almost sounds like a uh, like the old cat gun or something. Cross between a Demarine Juggy and the old cat gun. Ninety-four miles per hour. All right, one more actually. That away, balance. Doing good so far. 91 miles right. per hour. There we go. We'll get some more swings on it. And we'll be back to see how it's doing. We'll be back. All right. We have just over 500 swings on the Primo balanced. Came out here and forgot to look at the numbers. So the number is down below. Uh, we are ready to get some more swings on it and give you some thoughts. Here we go. Now we're going to be using all Dudley Thunder SY BP balls. Got a parking lot out there at 310. This uh, some beautiful weather down here in Fort Myers, Florida, out of the Milwaukee cold. Got a wind that's slight across, kind of coming in a little bit. So you got to really get it to get it to the 310 marker. Plus, this is only my second day being outside since being in the garage all winter. Anyway, here are my thoughts on the Primo Balance. Uh, I really like the look of this. It's very simple. I like how the colors jump out. Also on the uh, Super Max as well as the uh, Max Load. I don't have the Max Load. Uh, but it looks nice. In terms of sound, it's a nice sounding bat. I wouldn't say it's like fantastic. I would put like... KP23 in there and the worst creature uh, Primo Supermax in this are pretty close. I might like the Supermax a little bit more in terms of sound, but sounds good. That one might make it. No. All right, in terms of feel, you know, I, I've said it before, I, I don't really care for those grips. Uh, you know, when I'm taking a lot of swings, I wear a batting glove, but in general, in terms of game swings, I don't prefer batting those myself, and I'm afraid all that would get dirt in there. Plus, the the grip was a little bit loose because it, I think your hand's meant to go into the grip and get that tackiness for your batting glove. So that didn't really work for me. I didn't try it though, so maybe it would have been okay. But in terms of just feeling in my hands, I didn't like it without batting gloves. But overall, in terms of the swing of the bat, I like it. It's a very true balanced uh, feeling bat. Uh, sweet spot is a little bit on the stiffer side, kind of a mid mid range, but on the on the harsher side of the scale. Uh, not feels nice though. Um, let's see, the handle knob is nice and big, which I tend to prefer if possible. Uh, it, it, to me, it feels very uh, accurate in terms of swing weight. So. It, 26 ounce balance very much feels like that feel like you can really whip the bat through the zone uh, I wouldn't mind a little end load just to get that feel of the whip uh, but in general it feels fine still haven't hit that 310 mark with it though oh I thought that was gonna go in terms of pop I would say you know I, I was really happy with this right out of the wrapper I was expecting it to continue to get better. I can't say it's really improved much, so it's like really ready out of the out of the bat, uh, wrapper. Like right when you get it, it's it's kind of ready to go at its top top speed almost. I suppose it is a little bit better. Oh, a little bit louder now, but 
I haven't really seen a whole ton of improvement from what I have seen, especially when I compare it to other bats. So it's got good pop right away. I'm not overwhelmed with the pop overall in terms of after break-in, but if you're liking a, ba a balanced bat. Oh, I mean, this is, this is really good. Seems like I get, I get a little bit more power distance with that end load or the mid load. Come on now, go. Oh, just can't get that extra footage. Go. Oh, hey, I'm going to give a couple swings here to the Sinister. This is my gamer. This has, uh, again, I forgot to look at the numbers before I came out. This has uh, mid 100s only, so 150 or so, but I'll put the number down below. And this, we'll see how it does comparatively. Yo, Sinister! No, oh, just short! All right, show us what you got, Sinister. Could that do it? No, no, you really gotta get that good. Go, 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 go. Yes, Sinister pulls it off. That away. Ah, oh, that might not go. Hey, we'll give the Sinister three more, see if we can get it again. Go, ball, go. Oh, just shy, but I can just tell that this is getting that extra footage. There's a mid load, it's 25 ounce. Uh, really, you know, it, it feels a little bit lighter, swings a little bit heavier because that mid load, but it really feels like it, it whips through the zone for you. Go. Go, 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 go! Yes! That away, Sinister! One more, do it again! I like that gamer. Just shy. Alright. Primo balance, you got two more. Show us you should get in the game this season. That comes off good. Nope. Just can't get that distance. One more. Come on, Primo Balance. Let's go. No. Can't end on that one. Last one. Go. Oh, I thought that might have had it. All right. Well, I couldn't uh, keep up with the gamer there. But, you know, if you're liking a balance bat, this is solid. I wouldn't say it's the, the bat for my swing. I, I, like, I just like a little bit more end load to get me a little bit through more that zone there or the mid load. Give me that extra footage like the Sinister has been doing here. But uh, if you're looking for one, uh, for balance bat, I, I forgot how to end this thing. It's so nice to be out here in this nice weather, but I got to end it here. Uh, feel free to leave any questions, comments down below. This is the Bat Hound, everyone signing off. Be sure to subscribe to the channel up here. Check out some other videos up here and down here. Thanks, everybody.